Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my videos and for today I'm going to be doing something either incredibly normal or incredibly stupid. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but for the past, I think, three days, Facebook, Reddit and all social media channels have been flooded with people talking about their Redbubble accounts being suspended. Now, a lot of these people are saying that it was for no reason and it just happened as they were uploading and they didn't violate any rules. However, from past experience, I know in a lot of groups people just, you know, upload from time to time, hey, my account was suspended for no reason. And you're like, what did you design? And they're showing you this, I don't know, Coca-Cola face mask. And I'm like, yeah, that's infringement, honey. That's not according to Redbubble laws. This is not your original creation. You can't upload it. So in that sense, a lot of people don't know that they're violating Redbubble rules and in the past few weeks there have been this rising, I think maybe a lot of YouTubers were talking about this, that Redbubble is filled with tag spamming and I've seen it too, like come on, I'm just placing like just a girl from London and I get a bunch of volleyballs or dragons or all kinds of weird stuff in the results that have nothing to do with what I was looking for. What is the deal? Is it what people think that it's a bug? That whatever you upload to Redbubble in the next few days you're just gonna get suspended for no reason? Or is it just Redbubble finally putting their foot down? Now I know a lot of people have also been using automated tag sort of softwares and tag creators, which I do not use. So I've been wanting to upload a few new designs to Redbubble since yesterday and I didn't because I was afraid it's a bug. So now it's time for am I doing something normal by uploading or am I doing something stupid? So we're going to go to my computer and I'm actually going to record this uh, once and it's going to be live. I'm going to be showing you how I take one of my latest Mahjong designs and upload them to Redbubble and see if my account gets suspended. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> I hope I'm doing the right thing. Um, obviously I'll keep you posted because you'll be seeing the results of it in just one moment and we'll talk a bit more after that. Let's go to my computer. Okay, so we're at my Redbubble store and I'm kind of feeling weirded out that I'm about to do this, but, you know, heck with it. Let's try and upload a design and see what happens. Now, if you've seen one of my latest videos, I usually have this walkthrough that I show you what I do on Canva. This is not going to be the case this time. I really want to see if my account gets suspended. So I'm going to start uploading my design and see how it goes. The title is going to be simple. This is a dragon mahjong tile. And for the tags, I'm going to use dragon mahjong tile, mahjong art, dragon painting, dragon art, mahjong like this, illustration and Mahjong tiles. This is all I'm going to put in right now because people have been saying that this is about tag spamming. And on the description, my original illustration of a dragon Mahjong tile from my favorite game, Mahjong. Now I'm going to proceed with uploading the different types of designs for each type of product. Well, there is nice music in the background for you to enjoy. Let's get started.
now for the part that I was dreading the most. I'm gonna try to save my work uh, and see if I get suspended or not. Cross your fingers, because I'm crossing them on both my hands and my toes. Oh my god, this is the point where people say that they've been kicked out of a bubble and suspended. I'm so nervous, maybe I shouldn't have done it. Oh! It's on! It's on! I am... I don't know if I'm relieved or shocked. It's gonna take some time for the photos to upload because the internet is quite bad right now. But, so far I haven't been kicked out of Redbubble. And we are on. The product is live. Well, well, well. I guess I wasn't suspended. It's still popping up pretty slow because I have internet issues, which I'm trying to work on. But yeah, it's being uploaded and I can see the products popping up um, as my internet goes along. So it wasn't a bug on Redbubble, I guess. Um, let's talk about it some more. So there you have it. After 48 hours of going nuts and thinking like I can't upload to Redbubble because everybody's saying that there is this huge bug that no matter what you upload, even if it's completely legit, you're going to get suspended the moment you upload something. I just uploaded and I'm not suspended. Now, I do not work for Redbubble. I am not their representative. I have not spoken to them about this bug. But honestly, my guess would be that they just started putting their foot down when it comes to tag spamming and people uploading copyrighted materials. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing, if your account is suspended, if you tried as well. And again, I do not work for Redbubble, so I'm not an expert. I don't know if you're going to get suspended or not. I know that I had to try this because I've had a lot of designs that I wanted to upload this weekend and I just didn't want to wait and see. And I also know that a lot of people in groups are often false. I mean, they say they're not violating the rules and sometimes they they either are or they just don't know. So maybe just try and check to see what is legal to upload to Redbubble or any other platform. I'm going to be spending the rest of my day uploading more designs onto Redbubble and to one of my new Etsy shops, which is pretty much the same style, but as printable wall art, like Chinese symbols and mahjong, which I'm really, really into in my own life. I know that this wasn't one of my usual videos that I was showing like the design process. I will leave a link down below to a really long tutorial I did for how I create Redbubble uh, designs using Canva as well as how I create the seamless pattern which is what I use for the big items like the blankets and the comforters and the cushions and all the really big items that, like the bags and all that. I'm gonna leave a link to that down below. I'm also gonna leave a link below to the cute 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 guy who did this cute rock improv session that you listened to while I was working. Uh, even though it's copyrighted free and anyone can use it, I'm going to leave a link down below to his uh, sound info so you can guys check, you can, ugh, so you can go check it out. And as usual, I will see you in my next video. Like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more. Bye for now. Happy weekend.